Hi, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I just wanted to show you where I place uh, the lines on uh, miniature schnauzer. This is a pet schnauzer, and it's getting a, a clipping and not a hand stripping. It's just a pet dog, not going to a show or anything. So she's going to get clipped. She's all bathed, blow dried. I've shaved her privates, her pads, I've shaved her ears, and done um, between the um, between the eyes and unfortunately the owner did cut away at her face. So it's kind of short and maybe uneven. And I did her eyebrows a little bit. So I just want to show you the pattern. Come here and now I have this uh, little barrier behind her because she likes to hug the wall and she just you know hugs the wall and I gotta keep pulling her over. So I put that there and now she stands there pretty good. Works wonders, doesn't it? Yes. Alright, so what I do is I use a 7F blade. And I'm using my cordless wall, KM cordless wall clippers, which I love very much. I use every day. They come in cord corded as well. And so I'll just take off this leash here. So what I do is I just start behind the ears. And then I just go right back to the tail. And I take everything off the tail. Then I come down the sides, turn in my clipper. Take the whole neck short and all the way around with the same blade. So for the pattern, come here, sweetie. What I do is for the shoulders here, you can feel the muscle right here. It's rounded. I come right just just under that muscle right here where the leg starts. And just kind of you know blend that in right there. And for her undersides, now they don't need a lot of hair here. They don't have skirts. They just have, a, I don't know what you call it, like a fringe. Uh, sometimes I just take this right off. I take it really short at the tuck up. That's actually kind of long right now. I might get it from here. And I'm just basically skimming over that. There's a little bit here, you can see this right here. Not much, you're just supposed to leave a little bit here, not much here. And for the back leg, do the same thing. You can feel this nice and muscular muscle here. Come here, honey, see, stay here. Nice muscle, you can just feel it, and it goes right down in there. But everything comes off on the thigh here, the back of the legs, the side of the legs. I'm just kind of blend it in. I'm just I'm tapering it down here. You just want to leave a little bit of a fringe on the front here and then just blend it in as you get down further. You don't need a lot of hair. I'm lifting up the clippers as I go down the sides or down the front of the legs. All this comes off. The back, way down here, just skim this off, right down to where the leg starts, where the elbow is. And right down, you can feel that muscle there. And there's another muscle right here. You're just gonna take all of that off and just leave a little bit in the front. You don't have to leave a lot. For the front here, under the throat, take everything off and actually what I do, well you can actually feel, if you go like this, right down there is indentation, I go right to here, but what I do for the, it's okay, Stacy, I take my 7F in reverse, 
and go uh, pretty close. I'm going to go right up the beard. Okay, you don't like that. You're going to struggle. I know you're going to struggle. Let me just see. So what I do is I go right up to the beard where this nodule is. There's a nodule. You can see the whiskers. And I go right up to there. Yep. Come here. Say, I don't like that. All right, so I'll just show you the sides of the face. What I do is I clip here to the outside corner of the eye. Just clip everything forward right to here. Now she might move. Right like that. Come here, baby. Come here. Now for the top of the head, I go reverse. Hoping my hand's not in the way. I've actually used a 40 on the ears. I'm gonna get this side as well. Okay, so honey. Then I'm gonna get between the eyebrows. I just use the corner of my clippers to get in there and I'll get the rest with either scissors or thinning shears and then for the ears I just kind of clip reverse to blend in where I left off before sometimes I just skim off the eyebrows there Be careful not to cut the eyebrows off. I will have no eyebrows. <laughs> I get everything off in front of the rears. Let me see. Like that. Oh, I always double check, of course. So this needs a little bit clipping right here. They have a lot of curls, like a lot of um, swirls in their hair. So you just want to see what direction the hair is growing and cut against it. Otherwise you'll have a big chunk of hair, you know, a short piece and a long piece. So you just want to go with the grain that the hair is growing. This hair grows up and this one grows that way. So you just kind of, you got to clip it down this way to get off that little swirl. Oh, you're looking so pretty. And for under the tail, I did use a 40 lightly in this area. So you can see all this hair sticking up here, growing that way and this way. So I take my clippers, and I clip you know, side to side to get all that hair off. And then I clip upwards, being careful of the rectum. Always want to use a light hand. And then you're going to clip down. And get all that hair off the tail. And so that was the pattern, and then I just go on to um, trimming the legs he doesn't get a lot taken off or she she actually comes every four or five weeks so she doesn't have a lot of hair but she does get knotted so this is all like blended with the scissors here and then I basically you know trim out a line here you can check out my other videos I'll put all the links down below I do have an Amazon store with all your grooming needs and everything I've used in this video is in my grooming or in my Amazon shop so he just gets a quick uh, trimming there's not much hair to come off but basically I like to blend everything in here but my, my clippers did a good job on blending so I just double check and then oh actually I never showed you the very front here let me see if you're in camera yeah so this here called the bib I guess I call it the bib. There shouldn't be a lot of hair right here. 
Actually, I mean, they do have like cowlicks here, so I don't like to go really close, as so you'll see the skin. Um, so I just use my scissors here. Uh, you're not supposed to really see uh, much hair right here. So I keep it short. And it also helps with um, keeping it uh, free of, of mats. So I kind of just trim it like that. And then I'll just uh, trim everything. I do have videos on other snazzers that you can check out. This is just more like a pattern grooming. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out all the links. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video.